Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Avukar Kwadash. And double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone. And as well as giving also the salutations towards the Yakim that's worldwide furthering this truth. And Shalom to the brothers and the sisters as well that sincerely hearken unto the message of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai as we give you these lessons. And it's the brother Laban coming at you with another video. And in this video, what I want to go over is this video that went live and responding to it, which is coming from um, the brothers. This live went from the brothers in um, GMS Virginia. And um, as usual, as he does from time to time, when he can, when he has the time to, uh, vocab alone, you know, with his um, folly, as he is, he is in the compoop. He displays his beliefs, and his belief is that we should go back into Christianity, traditional Christianity, that is, the kind of Christianity he himself don't even believe in, which the Calvinists, they have their own way of believing in, you know, the Lord, basically. And um, what I want to do is I want to back up, and I want to get right into the video right now. And I want you to look at this body language right here. And this body language tells me that he really wants us to accept the nations. If the nations can be accepted by us, then he's he he can he can feel free and and um go to sleep quietly at night without a worry, without having to have in the back of his mind the thought of maybe I'm not going to make it or I'm not going to make it period because I'm an Edomite just a little bit we're going to fast forward and we're going to read the book of Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 15 that which is crooked cannot be made straight and that which is wanting cannot be numbered and so you have it the Edomites are not wanted of the Lord whatsoever According to the Bible, they're going into slavery right along with the rest of the other nations. That's just the way that it is. Like the Tupac song. That's just the way it is. <laughs> right? So nothing's going to change from, from here on and, and thereafter. So vocab alone is, again, wasting his time, man. The guy's wasting his time, valuable time. When really what he should do, he should actually search his fathers to see if he is in this light. <laughs> if he could do that, which I don't really think he's in Israelite anyway until proven. But um, what I want to do is I want to read the book of Acts chapter 2. And before I go there, what I want to do is I want to play some more. I want to pl not play some more, but I want to play this video and showing you the body language that he came with towards the brothers in um, GMS Virginia, right? Which is not a good look at all. You know, he came to the debatist cause and um, he already lost before he, he came up, just based on that body language. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, yeah, let's do that right here. And I mean, when you notice when Vocab Malone goes from Israelite camp to Israelite camp, he does this a lot. He'll bring his buddies with him. And um, they don't really want to be there. They don't really want to confront the Israelites. This is not really what they're into. Vocab is into this kind of thing. But they have to obviously do it because they're behind Vocab Malone. They got to support him. But what can they really support Vocab with? They don't know anything, these guys. And they don't really want to be there. Their body language tells they don't, they don't, they don't want to be doing this. At all. You know, this is his thing. But he, he's got to bring his buddies with him. To make it appear that, see, you know, he's got some kind of backing and, and some power. But 
as I've said earlier in the video, vocab alone doesn't even believe what these guys believe in. These guys could obviously be traditional Christians, but he doesn't believe in what they're talking about. So again, this man doesn't have a foundation. So now let's continue watching this video. See, he's got two hands in his pocket now. So he's definitely holding back something the whole he's afraid. And this is the thing, he has doesn't have a point. His job is to bring us back to Christianity. But he won't say that. He's not going to declare that out in the air and be truthful. But that's really his job. He doesn't have a point. Doesn't even know what the hell he's talking about a lot of the times. He's all over the place. So that's just the thing. Because he knows exactly who we are. The powers that be, they know who we are. So they send um, nincompoops like this, agents, to try to sway us away from what we believe in. We believe in, we believe in what we believe in. And we believe that we're the Israelites. And we believe that we're God's chosen people. Thus save the Bible. So now let's move forward. And we're going to read the book of Acts chapter 2. And he should have never brought Acts chapter 2 out. Because Acts chapter 2 verse 5 to be exact actually gives it away on the people that he went to go deal with. I'm talking about Peter and, and the, uh, the disciples at the time. As it reads, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven which goes back to the curses which would f fall on the Israelites excuse me which would fall on the Israelites for disobedience of not keeping the commandments and one of those curses would be that we would be scattered all around the four corners of the earth serving the, serving the gods of the other nations so if we were scattered abroad among these other nations then we would become these nations by doing what they did. And this is why in the New Testament, it mentions about the Gentiles being grafted in, especially in the book of Romans chapter 11. Okay? Because the Israelites became Gentiles by honoring those other gods, like the natural Gentiles did. But they were really Israelites, Israelite foreigners so to speak so now when we go all the way down to verse 9 and verse 10 this tells us exactly that you had Israelites in these different areas which Peter and the rest of the other men came to okay also um, verse 11 as well and by the way when you read the book of Isaiah the 11th chapter it mentions that the Lord will recover his people that are in these lands as mentioned in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 9 to verse 10 and in verse 12 gives it away so let's read verse 11 and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people who is his people the children of Israel are his people which are left excuse me which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt, and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from the Ham, and excuse me, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an enzyme for the nations. An example. And shall assemble the outcasts. This is it right here. 
of Israel and gathered together dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth because they were under that curse pursuant to Deuteronomy 28 and 64. This is why when we go back to the book of Acts 2 verse 9 and 10, you had Israelites in these areas. Okay? That's who Peter and them went down to to bring them back onto the fold of Yahweh Shai back into the gospel because they were under the covenant so when you understand the Bible like we do it just makes sense who the Gentiles were in the New Testament they were Israelite foreigners being grafted back into the faith because simply they were under the gospel excuse me the covenant no other nation was a part of that covenant that's why they were not called into this thing in the first place. So vocab alone in, what is it, two hours and 39 seconds in, I mean, excuse me, minutes and 12 seconds in, this is the look that he's projecting. Please count me in. Please accept us. Right? But the other nations are not are not wanted of the Lord, the Edomites. Let me read this again. Ecclesiastes 1. And we're going to begin once again by reading verse 15. And that which is crooked cannot be made straight. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. So this is the look that he has on his face. Please accept us. Please accept the idea that every nation can be saved. And including the Edomites. But according to the Bible, that's not the case. According to the Bible, you're not wanted. And the other nations are not wanted. You will all go into slavery because that's your lot. We are the chosen people of the, of the, uh, the Heavenly Father. Thus saith the Bible. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. And I have chosen thee to be a special people. Excuse me. The Lord chose us to be a special people unto himself above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. That's what the Lord said out of the mouth of Moses as the Lord was speaking through him. So that's all I have to say in this right here. You know, um, the book of Acts chapter 2, very simple precept for us to understand and know by now that that's referencing to the Israelite foreigners. Jews, by the way, that were also scattered outside of the land of Jerusalem as well as you had because you had two you had two kind of Gentiles you had the Helen you had the Hellenized which were Israelites that didn't know they were Israelites and then you had the Hellene which were Jews that were outside that knew they were excuse me you had Israelites that were outside of Jerusalem but they knew they were Jews they were the Hellene Israelites Again, the Hellenized Israelites were those that didn't know at all that they were Israelites, but they were Israelites according to nationality. So there you have it. So the people in the book of Acts chapter 2, they were Israelites scattered abroad in these different areas, pursuing to the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And in these places, we're still in these places today. And we're going to be delivered, according to Isaiah, the 11th chapter, out of these places still to this very day. So it's referencing the Israelites and the Israelites only when it concerns the salvation. So that's all I have for this video. With that, I'm closing. I say Shalom.